The first question is, um, what type of home ownership do you have? Are you a renter or or owner? Owner. Okay. The type of structure, single family, detached, multi-unit, townhome? Single family, attached. Okay. Detached, I guess. Okay. Have you always lived in um, Blakely or? Yes, other than when I was in college. But, yes, I'm from here and moved back here. Oh, okay. All right. Um, tell me if, um, how your family ended up in Cochrane. I don't know. We were all born here. Um, all my born parents here. were born here. Their mm-hmm. parents were not born here. My dad's parents moved from, um, my grandmother was from Nebraska oh, on my okay. dad's side, and my grandfather was from Iowa on my dad's side. But my mother's parents and their parents mm-hmm. were all born here in um, either Blackley or Dodge County. So we have deep roots here. Oh, okay. That's awesome. My dad moved to Cochrane as a young child and, okay. and lived here. So I don't really know any other place. Okay. So y'all have generations and generations here. Especially That's on awesome. my mom's side. My dad's side, they're mostly from up north. But mm-hmm. my mom's side, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, that's awesome. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> that's awesome. Got a lot of roots, family, just we a lot do. of history too. We do. Um, and so now we're just gonna just talk about the kind of home that you live in. Okay. And the next set of questions. Okay. So, uh, could you tell me about what kind of home you live in, like the structure of it? Mm-hmm. It's a stick built home. Stick built. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's on a crawl space. Okay. And we have vinyl siding on the outside, and then we have a shingle. We have an sh- architectural shingle roof. It's a single family home. Okay. How many bedrooms? We have four, uh, three bedrooms. Three bed. How many baths? Two bathrooms. What's the square foot? Like 2120, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Heated. We do have a screened in porch, but that's not included in that. So it's. Oh, maybe about an extra 20. Yeah, it's been another 400, so like 2500 with the screened in porch. Okay. And we have a garage. Oh, okay. It's an attached garage. Okay. It sits on about 1.3, 1.2 acres in a subdivision. Okay. And you said about two point. It's one like one point two, I think, acres. One point two, something like that. Okay. It's a lot of land. It's a lot when you have to start cutting the grass and cutting the bushes. <laughs> right, tractor or riding one? No, it's a riding one more. Right. Okay. Oh, man, that's still a lot. That's a lot of land. I don't have that much land. <laughs> so, have you invested in solar either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as part of your business, or as part of the program, maybe through your utility company? No, we haven't. No. Okay. All right. Tell me how. Well, tell me why you do not have solar power. Um, I'm sorry. Tell me why you do not have rooftop solar on your home. We've never actually had it offered to us, and we've never sought it out. So basically, probably lack of education and lack of opportunity. It's just okay. not ever been anything that we've explored. Right. Okay. And so y'all just made that decision. We did. I'm sure in the beginning, we've been in our home over 20 years. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure in the beginning it was a cost factor. Right. If it was an initial offering to us from the power company, of course mm-hmm. that was in 1996. So we well, y'all no, purchased the home? We built the home. Oh, built the home in 1990. Okay. I'm put that down. Yeah. So I'm sure at that point... We built it to resell, but now we're still there. So, <laughs> you know, so I'm sure in the beginning it was a cost factor. Even if right. they would have said, make this initial investment, we would not have had the money right. initially to do that. Oh, we to were, include We were there. newlyweds, and I mean, right. we, we were building the house, and that was it. So, um, even if it was offered at that time, I'm mm-hmm. sure we would not have had the money to do it. Right. Mm-hmm. And it just hasn't been something that we've thought about since then. Right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So would you, if it was available, uh, want solar? I would definitely explore the option. Explore at least? I mean, okay. I don't, I don't think I would automatically say no. Mm-hmm. I would certainly be open to a conversation. Okay. And why would you think you would try at least to see about the, the rooftop solar? Just for, number one, for cost. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we could save on our cost and just to help mm-hmm. lower the electricity that's being used. Okay. You know, I mean, just from an environmental standpoint. 
And obviously, I think you should just be open to new things. Even if it, even if the answer is no at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say no just without exploring it. You know. I don't... Okay. So I would also like to um, talk about a little bit of rooftop solar adaption in general. So here is a map of the U.S. Okay. So you have the European there. And so this here, um, where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? Could you draw that on the map? So just, you can put like an X or star okay. or check on that map there. Okay. And just, you know, it doesn't have to be correct. Just think about any okay. states that you think that have it. I'm just putting an X. Yeah. If that's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know. That's yeah. Some of it's an educated guess, but most yeah. of it is definitely a guess. <laughs> okay. Hey, that, that, that is okay. There's no right or wrong answers um, here. So, why did you, um, why do you think in these areas here, what we got, California, Arizona, Nevada, Texas, Georgia, and Florida has rooftop solar? Well, I have seen in Arizona they do have some oh okay um, when we went to Arizona and Nevada um, but they have a lot of hot sun they have a lot of um, don't have as many trees out mm -hmm. to block so I don't know I would guess maybe they would and I think you have um, environmentally conscious in mm -hmm. California I think people are trying to move in that direction so that was why I chose California oh okay and what about the state of Georgia where have you um, seen those at? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily say rooftop, I guess. Maybe just the solar farms. The solar farms? The solar farms, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, can you tell me a little bit about that solar? Do you know much about the solar farms? I don't know a lot about them. I know there's one on the way to Dublin. Mm -hmm. When you go through Dudley, there's one on the right. Mm -hmm. um, Dublin High School has a solar farm. They've had it for a long time, and mm -hmm. they invested in that. They have it, and then there's one, a huge one up. I don't know the road number, but make, going towards Macon, there's a huge one being built now. Oh. And on the way to LaGrange, uh -huh. there's a huge farm out towards Columbus, the road between here and Columbus. There's a lot of solar farms between here and there. I don't really know a lot about them, but... Well, but the um, farmers are now using them, I guess. I don't know. I think, well, I think, I, I think, well, I think the power company is oh. actually putting it on the farmland oh. and harvesting the power from that. I don't know that it's necessarily the homeowners that are okay. doing it or the farmers that are doing it. Oh, but I'm not sure. I learn something new every time I do this. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you what would you what do you think makes um, that community so different from the people in the state of Georgia? Those other states that you named. I think partly it would be education. Education. I think just knowing the value mm -hmm. and having people that are willing to invest. And I think if you can show people the value, they will be more willing to invest. Whereas here, I'm not sure if we do as much um, publicity or mm -hmm. I don't really know what the word would be, but um, just educating people, just to let them know. Like this is, because I think initially, we hear the cost, mm -hmm. and so it's like, no, I'm not doing right. it. But yet, when you, I mean, the same thing for buying a new car. The car, new car is very expensive, but you know you've got to have one. Right. So I think it's I think it's a, a trade off if we right. can be educated and know that it's beneficial for us. I think we might would be willing to make, make the investment. That is true. That's that's definitely true. So let's just talk about the state that you reside in, the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. So again, I have this map okay. here. So I would like you to map, to oh goodness, mark, okay. put an X anywhere where you have seen, okay. um, where you think they have uh, okay. rooftop solar. A rooftop solar. Mm -hmm. well, rooftop solar. But mm -hmm. not solar farms. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can include that. Okay. I mean, that's Because I'm too. not, I don't know that we have a lot of rooftop solar here. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe they could be using those solar panels that have you seen in the farms it could be generating to somebody's house oh yeah for sure you know? mm -hmm. could potentially be doing that mm -hmm. let's see i'm not too good on state geography there's columbus mm -hmm. so i'm gonna pick there's some along here so i'm gonna mark this there you go little, little line right here that's right <laughs> 
but yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's not a whole lot of money down in South Georgia. There's probably not a lot of investing in solar power. Right. Hey, that's all right. So that's the line that you were talking about earlier. Going, those yes, there's a going. huge solar farm going okay. out towards Columbus. Okay. So at those places that you identify, uh, why do you think these people have either those rooftop solar panels or those solar panels on the farm? Why do you think they are I think investing it? Was a, it? I think it was a power company. Um, power company? Okay. Project that they had. I don't know if they bought the land, rented the land, or what, but it's, and it's just wide open. There's no trees. Mm -hmm. So it's just wide open farmland that oh. they put those solar farms in. How many acres do you think is on that? I have no idea. It's miles. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's, I mean, it's pretty impressive when you see it. Mm -hmm. Now, the one in Dublin, Dublin High School has one. Mm -hmm. And that was probably, they probably got a benefit, some okay. type of financial benefit for doing it, putting it in. I don't know if it was from the power company or from the state of Georgia. I'm not sure how, why. But I know Dub Dublin, Dublin schools did that. And the one, there's a homeowner that lives on the way to Dublin. Mm -hmm. They have solar power. On their rooftop? And, no, it's actually on the side of, in the yard. Not in the yard, but in like the adjoining field. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if they use it for their personal use or they. it was in conjunction with the power company. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that. Okay. So tell me why you think um, some of those, I know we talked about some of these areas, you know, already having it. Um, anything else you want to add on maybe why they might have it compared to? Um, Blakely County? Land availability could be one. Okay. Um, I think, that, well, recently the power company had a, it was a promotion, and you had to have a certain number of acreage. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, you had to have a minimum number to put into the solar farm. Oh. And so if you didn't have however many acres, and I can't remember how many acres it was, but just for the sake, let's just say if you didn't have 20 acres to put mm -hmm. into it, mm -hmm. then you couldn't get into the program. So I'm not oh. sure if that might be why people don't have contiguous acreage mm -hmm. to be able to get into those programs. All right. You know, because if you've got 20 acres but it's broken up, oh. then you wouldn't be able to do it because they want it to have all together. So I don't know if that would be why. I don't know if it's just a promotion that... People don't know about. What was? Do you know what the incentives were for that? If they did, they it? paid. It was a yearly fee that they were paying for that. The solar company was. Do you know what solar company? No, it's true. It was a power company. It was a power company. But no. I'm not sure. I don't know. I just. That's awesome, though. My I neighbor mean, was going to do it, and he didn't have enough land. How much acres did he have? I don't remember. It was not. It was over in. I want to say Houston County. Mm-hmm. Near Perry, but... Oh, uh, Haynesville? Yes. Oh. I'm not sure how much acreage he had. I think that's Georgia Power, too. He was just under, though. What? And they said, don't even... They had a recording, like you called the phone, they called the number. Mm -hmm. And so the number, when he called, it said, if you don't have X number of acres, don't even leave a message. Like, we're not going to even talk to you. Mm -hmm. So he didn't even explore it or whatever. But they were paying... They weren't buying the land. They were renting it for so much per year, per acre, wow. and you had to have a minimum, and I don't know what that was. Oh, wow. That's awesome. No, that's something I did not hear But that from definitely anybody. would get people to doing solar power. Yeah, it's got to have some money attached. Yeah, well, you get some money attached to it, but then when you see the benefits, mm -hmm. you're and likely then people, to you're, like, you're more likely mm -hmm. to invest in it. So. That's true. It is true. So what about any of your close friends here in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar rooftop? No. No. So why do you think they don't have any? Either they don't want to invest or they don't know okay. about it or the benefits. I'm sure they know about it, but probably just don't know enough about it. Okay. That makes sense, though.